Hello, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this pretty angel with a heart, which could be a nice present for St. Valentine's Day, Christmas, or any other special occasion. The angel is pretty big, um, about 10 or 11 inches tall. I am going to make it uh, using this, uh, this cotton uh, crochet thread size 10 and the uh, hook a size uh, 1.95, almost 2 millimeters. We are going to start with chain 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which will enclose in a ring. And in this ring, uh, we are going to make uh, eight single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is going to be the top of the head. Now I'm going to use this end of thread uh, to mark the beginning of each round like this, making a little loop at the back. And now I'm going to make two single crochet in each crochet that I have here. So one, two in this stitch, two in the next one, and continue the same way until you make 16. In the next round, we are going to have 24 single crochet. That's why we are making one single crochet in the first stitch and two in the next one. One in one stitch and two in the next one. And continue around the circle. And in the next round, we'll, may, we'll have uh, 32 single crochet. And that's why we are doing one single crochet in the first stitch, one in the second one, and two in the next one. Once again, one in one stitch, one in the next stitch, and uh, two in the third one. Continue like this until you have 32. Um, as we can see, we have four rounds now. We are going to crochet the next five rounds without any changes. So we are making 32 single crochet in each of the five rounds. Now when we have uh, nine rounds, we are going to start reducing the number of single crochet in each round. And we are going to mirror what we do, uh, or what we did at the beginning. Uh, so the next round will have uh, only 24 single crochet. So we are making one single crochet, the second one, and then we are crocheting two together. One in one stitch, second in the next stitch, and uh, two together. And we continue the same way until the end of the round. In uh, the next round, we are going to have 16 single crochet left. So we are making one in one stitch and two together. One and uh, two together. 16 in this round. So now we have 16 single crochet and one more round where we are going to uh, crochet two together, two together, the next two together. We'll have only eight single crochet left at the end of this round. Now we are going to stop for a minute and fill the head with the fiber fill or cotton. Just make sure you put this uh, end uh, of the thread inside the head. And um, 
use something uh, long and narrow, um, um, like this straw. We are making one more uh, round of uh, eight single crochet just to uh, make the neck a little narrower. Seven and eight. And now we are switching from um, uh, using a single crochet to double crochet. So we are going to start each round with chain three and we are making double crochet in the same place. Chain three, um, we count it as uh, one uh, double crochet. So two double crochet in each stitch all the way around until we have 16. At the, the end of the round, slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning of this round, slip stitch, and in the next round, uh, we'll continue uh, doing um, double crochet, two double crochet in each stitch. So chain three and double crochet in one stitch, two double crochet in the next one and continue this way uh, until we have 32 double crochet uh, once again at the end slip stitch in the third chain and the next three rounds will be rounds of 32 double crochet without any changes so we begin with chain three and then double crochet in each stitch three rounds now after three rounds of 32 double crochet we are going to reduce the number of um, those stitches and we are going to uh, do chain double crochet and the two together we are beginning the double crochet and we do not finish it start the second one do not finish it working them together the next double crochet uh one in one stitch the next one in the next stitch and two together at uh, the end insert the hook in the third chain and make a slip stitch now we are going to pause and uh, fill the body in with some fiber fill once again. And now we are going to close this opening, but we are only going to be using this, uh, this interior part of each stitch. We'll use these parts later. So chain three, double stitch using just the inside part of the stitch, double crochet, another one, not finished, working them together. One more time, double crochet, do not finish it. And the second one together and continue like this until uh, the end of this round. Uh, slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning of the round. And we still have a little opening, but we'll just leave it like this, it will be uh, under the skirt and now we we will need to use the parts of those stitches that we didn't use before so first of all we are going to get there using slip stitches make them loose two or three should be enough and here we are under the first of those stitches this is the scheme shows uh, that shows the skirt. Uh, these are chains, uh, double crochet, triple crochet, single crochet.
crochet. Rows 3 and 4 are repeated 7 times and the only difference between rows 1 and 3 is that here we have double crochet, here we have a triple crochet. So we are going to start uh, with a group of 5 double crochet separated by 1 chain. So chain 3, uh, which we count as double crochet, 1 chain to separate double crochet, chain for separation, double crochet, chain, another double, chain, and one more. And one chain will separate these groups. Here we are skipping uh, two stitches and we are making the next group like this in the third one. So we'll start with a double crochet, chain one, double, chain one, double, chain one, double, chain one, and double crochet, chain one, skip two stitches here one two in the third one doing the same and we are going to have eight groups like this at the, the end uh, chain one and slip stitch in the third chain as usual and uh, for the second round we are making another slip stitch here and uh, we need to make single crochet here uh, but the first single crochet will be replaced with chain one. Now, chain four, so altogether we have five here. Uh, single crochet, chain four, single crochet, chain four, single crochet. So we got three arches of chain four. Now, single crochet between these groups single crochet between the first two double crochets here so three single crochet in a row and repeating the same sequence uh, chain four single crochet chain four single chain four single one more single crochet and one more And we'll continue this way around the circle. At uh, the end of this round, we are making this single crochet between the groups and that slip stitch in the first chain, uh, which was our single crochet here. Now we are going to make groups like this, but we are going to work them in this middle arch of this three. So we are going to, to use uh, slip stitches to get there. So one slip stitch, the second one, one more, and one more just under the arch. Now chain four, we will count it as triple stitch and uh, one more chain which is going to separate those stitches now uh, thread over two times one two three I guess that's why it's called triple chain one this thread over two times one two three chain triple stitch, chain, triple stitch. Okay, and now we have a group like this just using triple crochet. Once again, one chain between these groups and now we are moving to this arch. Once again, triple, crochet, chain one, triple, chain one, 
triple, chain one, triple crochet, chain one, and the last one, the fifth one, and chain one. Or we are making six more groups like this. Here we are at the, the end of the third round. Uh, after chain one, slip stitch in the fourth chain, another slip stitch, chain one that we count as a single crochet, chain four, single crochet, chain four, single crochet, chain four, single crochet, got our three arches. Now we had one single crochet, the second one, the third one. So three arches, three single crochet, and continue like this. And uh, at the, the end of this fourth row, slip stitch in the first chain, slip stitches to get to the middle arch, three, and the fourth one just under the arch. And we'll start another group like this with chain four as a triple crochet, chain one, triple crochet, one, two, three, chain one, triple, chain one, triple, chain one, triple, chain one to separate these groups, and uh, moving to the middle arch here. And uh, we are now repeating uh, these two rounds, round three and round four, six more times. And um, this is what it is going to look like in the end, 16 rounds in this skirt. Uh, now I am going to show you how to make arms for the angel. Oh, we are going to start at the shoulder part uh, with this puffed sleeve, and this is the scheme for it, and uh, then we will proceed to the arm itself. We'll start with chain five. One, two, three, four, five, which uh, will enclose to uh, make a little ring, and in this ring we are I'm making triple crochet. The first triple is chain four and another one. Thread over twice and one, two, three, triple crochet. Chain two to separate the groups of two triple crochet. Another triple crochet. And one more. Chain two. And we'll need to make uh, seven groups of these two triple crochet. They're separated uh, by two chains. At the end, chain two. And the slip stitch in the fourth chain of the beginning of this round. Now chain three, that we count as double crochet, chain three to separate this double crochet from the next one, which we make here over the second triple crochet, chain one, single crochet in this space, chain one, double crochet over the triple crochet, chain three, double crochet over the second triple crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, 
and continue like this five more times at the, the end uh, after this single crochet chain one and uh, slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning of the round another slip stitch to get under the, under this chain and chain one which equals single crochet chain two and uh, we are making a uh, single crochets in each of these um, little arches of uh, chain three so single crochet chain two single crochet chain two and continue like this at the end uh, after this single crochet chain two we are making the slip stitch in the first chain which uh, was the same as uh, single crochet and now we are making double crochet over each single one chain three which equals the first double crochet now this was the single one we are making the second double and without any chains without any spaces between them the third one this is number seven and before we make this uh, last slip stitch let's stop for a second and let's fill this puff sleeve uh, with some fiber fill not a lot just to give it some shape now we can make this slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning of this round and we should have seven stitches left here which we use to make single crochet and uh, we are working those single crochet around and around until we have 17 rounds stop from time to time and count uh, how many uh, stitches you are making because it is easy to make an extra one and to skip one the work is pretty tight when you make 17 uh, rows of single crochet of seven single crochet uh, cut the thread and with a needle uh, close the remaining stitches using just one side of each stitch the exterior side like this and uh, then put the needle inside okay this arm is ready make another one like this and now we are going to make the crown this is the scheme for the crown uh, these are single crochet um, chains double crochet for the crown we are making a chain of 31 1 2 3 uh, 31 we are making a ring out of it try not to twist this chain and using a slip stitch uh, and now we make 31 single crochet uh, in this circle the first single crochet is chain one and now trying to put this end of the thread inside our work to hide it we are making single crochet in each of these chains slip stitch at the end in this first chain now chain one which we count as single crochet chain five so six all together skipping two stitches here single crochet chain five skipping two single crochet and we do it three more times now we have five little arches turning work over 
slip stitch under this first arch chain three which equals double crochet and chain one for separating double stitches that we are going to make here there will be five of them and they are separated by one chain this is similar to what we did when we were making a skirt now without um, any chains here without any separation we, we are moving to the second arch and once again doing double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and so on now we have five groups of five double crochet we are turning our work over slip stitch to get under this first chain chain one which equals single crochet chain four single crochet between the double crochet chain four single crochet between the next two chain four another single crochet and one more between the groups of five double crochet and one more between the first two double crochet so now once again as we did with the skirt we have groups of three arches three single crochet in a, in a row and we continue like this chain four single crochet and so on and cut the thread and uh, now we are moving on to the wings or one wing um my homemade scheme might be difficult to understand but we are going to make six groups like this and i'm going to show how we will start with five with chain five one two three four five in a circle and in this circle we are um, uh, working uh, double crochet the first one is chain three and there will also be three chains between those double crochet so now in this ring double crochet chain three double crochet chain three and so on until we have eight double crochet here at the end chain three and slip stitch in the third chain another slip stitch to get onto this chain and uh, chain three which we count as double crochet another double chain three and the two double crochet now we are moving on to this next sector and doing the same two double crochet chain three Two double crochet this is what we are going to have at the end turning our work and um, uh, with a slip stitch well actually two slip stitches we are getting under this chain and now doing um, double crochet the first one is chain three and those double crochet are going to be separated by one chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and chain one and the fifth double crochet so we are repeating the same pattern that we used uh, in the skirt the first round of the skirt now 
we are moving here without any chains. This is the end of this row. We are turning work over. One slip stitch. Chain one, which we count um, a single crochet. Chain four. Uh, single crochet between uh, double crochet, chain four, single crochet, chain four, and another single crochet. So we have our three arches, we have our single crochet, another one here, and the third one here. Once again, the same that we did. did while we were crocheting the skirt and we continue this way until the end of the row this is the end of this row and we are moving on and with slip stitches we need to get here uh, to the middle of those three arches so just a few slip stitches and here we are and now we are working triple crochet so the first chain four uh, equal triple crochet chain two we are going to separate uh, those triple crochets with two chains this time triple crochet chain two triple crochet chain two triple chain two and the last one draw all these five in a group and these groups of five triple crochet are going to be separated with chain three and now we are moving right here to the middle of this three chains and uh, we are doing our first triple crochet and continue like this until the end of the row here is the end of this row turning our work slip stitch to get onto the first chain of two stitches chain one instead of a uh, single crochet chain four chain uh, sorry uh, single crochet chain four single crochet chain four single crochet and now our pattern changes just a little uh, instead of just doing one single crochet here we are doing chain four again single crochet here in this chain another chain four and another single crochet in the same space chain four and now this um, single crochet we are used to doing once again chain four single crochet chain four single crochet chain four single crochet and now in this space chain four one single crochet chain four another one chain four and the first single crochet here and we are going to continue this pattern this is the end of this row and in the next row we are going to make extra groups not only here in the middle but also in the chains between so first we are getting to this second chain as usual with slip stitches chain four that equals triple crochet 
chain two for separation, triple crochet, chain two, triple, chain two, triple, chain two, and the last triple crochet in this group, five. Now, we are skipping these two chains, and in this chain, which is above this space, we are making a similar group of five triple crochet separated by two chains. And then we are skipping two again, and are doing the same group in this middle chain, skipping two, and continue like this until the end of the round so this row is ready and now we are going to uh, proceed to the last one which as usual is going to have uh, chains of four so slip stitch um, chain one equals a uh, single crochet chain four single crochet, chain four, single crochet, chain four, single crochet, we have our three arches and one single crochet, the second one between groups, the third one uh, between the first uh, triple crochet. So we have three arches, three single crochet, and we continue like this, uh, until we get here and now all we have left to do is to make similar arches on this side uh, of the wings uh, just spread them uh, as regularly as you can uh, on this side this is what mine looks like and uh, now when everything is ready um, we need to starch everything. Well, not everything. We do not need to starch the arms or the head or the body, uh, just these parts. Boil um, about two tablespoons of cornstarch in um, uh, about one cup of water. So make it pretty strong uh, and soak everything for a few minutes and uh, wring it out um, and uh, uh, then it's important to find something to give the right shape uh, to your angel i for example use um, a metal uh, glass and a plastic cup on top of it uh, and a plastic bottle for the crown when everything is dry we can put it all together uh, preferably with a glue gun this low temperature glue gun so the crown the arms just a little glue we are also gluing the arms together and the, the wing like this And I did not show how to make a heart in this video because I have a separate video with different hearts. And I'm putting three dots of glue on the heart also. And uh, gluing it here. This is it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Uh, but I also have lots of other interesting projects. So if you are not subscribed yet, uh, consider doing it and pushing the bell button to be informed of all the new videos that are going to come out. Bye for now.